Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to manage the calendar here that displays opening hours on this website. So it's used, it's utilizing a plugin called Spiffy Calendar which is a basic event calendar which can be used to display all sorts of events but in this case it's being used to display the time in which uh, this store is open and what days it's closed. So to edit it, it's different to other pages. You don't just go to edit page, you actually go to the Spiffy Calendar link up here, manage events. So you can see there's all the, the dates there that are listed as closed or open, etc. So if we want to add a, a new open date that hasn't been added before, go up here and type in open. Event description, you can leave that blank, but that could also be if you had various staff on at different times or there was something happening on that day that was um, of you know noteworthy. So then we go down to the actual date. Now, just for this example, let's set something in the future, 10th of June next year. End date should be the same and that's already automatically done when you set that. So start time. Let's go 9 till 4 here, for example. And we can repeat this if we want. We can add, you know, set how many custom days we want it to repeat. We can repeat it for years. Uh, you put in the number of repeats and then that. Uh, so it could, if you put in two weeks, that would repeat for two weeks, that sort of thing. Um, but in this case, we're just adding one day, which is the 10th of June next year. So if I press save, that's now added to the event list. There it is. Now if we want to view that back on the website, we'll go to the opening hours page, scroll across here until we get to June. I probably should have done something a bit closer. Okay, here we go, June. So there it is. There's the event we've just added. Time, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, now, I'll just quickly show you how to remove that. Manage events. So there it is. There's the one we just added. Delete. Now, if I just wanted to do the day after that, I can just press copy. I don't want it to say copy. But I can go in there and actually change the date to the 11th. If it's the same time, there we go. And there's now one for the 11th as well. But to delete them, it's just like that. 